Hello, uh, my name is uh, Mohamed Alfius Masoha. I'm a professor and dean of faculty of arts at the University of Zululand. I am a co-editor. I've worked with uh, Professor Shokani, who is a professor and deputy dean of research and internationalization at the University of Zululand in the faculty of arts, and Ms. Kelly Gross, who is based in the United States and some, some Al some, uh, Albany University. Um, we, we have worked on this volume as co-editors. And I'd like to mention that this volume honors the work of um, the late uh, Professor uh, Lisa Blitz, a friend of ours who, who has worked with us on quite a number of very key projects that actually uh, pushed for uh, a new negotiation approaches when working with local communities. One of the projects that we did with her was in Malawi, and we still have to go back and revisit the data that we collected from, from that uh, research site. And we're quite excited to be involved with uh, Professor Lisa Blitz uh, on this project. It's important that I should mention that this project um, is part of the um, transdisciplining in social sciences uh, book series that I proposed um, uh, with them. Um, and supported by OSIS to publish uh, work um, on, um, on social science and humanities, especially focusing on, on theories and new ways of actually looking at um, social sciences in current situations that we have now. And the first volume was edited by Professor uh, Shukani, who was with the late uh, Professor Lisa um, Blitz. Um, and Professor Makubela, who is now at the University of, um, of Limpopo. So th that was successfully done, but it focused on the um, social work theories, and it has actually made a very, very, very huge impact in the field of social work in South Africa, outside and beyond. And, 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 and this has been a very successful project. For this particular uh, volume, which is... Um, under the title of problematizing uh, local um, IKS research in communities, we we deliberately wanted to uh, push for the Afrocensed uh, theory or approach to research, and I'm quite excited that all contributors have actually done very well in embracing the whole idea of Afrocensed uh, perspective in uh, in in writing their chapters. And this is a 13th uh, chapter uh, book, and we've got uh, a mixture of um, contributions here, highly seasoned uh, scholars, um, like Professor, um, Professor Mammino, um, Liliana Mammino, who's based at the University of Venda. Her field is in chemistry, but amazingly um, worked on how social science and natural science can have a, a a working relationship and she has done exceptionally well and we're quite excited about that another highly seasoned scholar here is professor ochola who's based at the university of zululand whose field is in information studies and it was quite exciting that you see how colleagues in their trained um, fields they are able to trans to trans discipline and also bring in multidisciplinarity in their research. And this is quite exciting. And we're excited about this. I, I think this contribution is going to make a, a huge contribution. It's going to make a very, very big contribution to, 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 to in the field of social science and humanities, because it's not the day-to-day -day, um, uh, approach to how we look at research, and especially looking at how we 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 want to up, we want to listen to the voices that are coming from from communities and it's 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 a deliberate stance that we've taken in in producing this volume that our communities have been violated for quite some time we've never had uh, scholars who go into communities and regard our communities as important spaces of research and acknowledging this importance. Um, in the language of um, uh, social science, we talk about research, collecting data and so on, without naming what it is. 
and without recognizing the importance of these communities in actually framing and coming up with with research uh, paradigms that uh, we have currently have in published in books. But we deliberately wanted to acknowledge the importance of local communities, especially handling this important field of uh, indigenous knowledge systems. And this is very important. And also I want to, to recommend this publication to young researchers. It's important that this source can be used by them and see exactly what happens in communities, the kind of knowledge, the kind of framing, the kind of um, approach that we need to have with our local communities. And this is a very important contribution. And I think not only to South Africa, but also to the world and beyond. We need to, to, to start thinking and, th and thinking beyond thinking about how we look at our local communities and have appropriate approaches and theories in dealing with our communities. And I want to thank my two colleagues, uh, Professor Shokani, especially Professor Shokani, who has done a very, very important work because she has been communicating with authors um, from day to day and ensuring that our authors are informed uh, in terms of the progress done and so on. And she meticulously looked at the process of publishing this document, uh, this uh, volume. And I want to entirely um, thank her and also thank uh, Kelly Gross uh, for her contribution to this volume. And I also want to thank all the contributors and want to thank ourselves for this. And we are still looking for more publications going forward. And, um, and I think we need to congratulate all authors. And we also looking forward to new more authors in engaging with this paradigm because transdisciplining doesn't end here. We still have to think about transdisciplining in the field of politics, to look at transdisciplining in the field of um, psychology. And we also have to look at transdiscipline in the context of COVID-19 now, or look at transdisciplining in terms of the pandemics. And thank you very much again to our for this opportunity.